Hi guys, I spent the last four months to learn Unreal Engine. Now I'm getting more familiar with the Blueprint C++ code, and I think I'm confident now to share off my work and make some videos about uh, what I have done and tutorials for how to make games in general. Hope it can help others for who want to learn something from the videos. And this video is just a, a preview of my future videos for how to create a UI in Unreal Engine and how to find the how to make the UI work and it can be controlled by the keyboard and the mouse and also the gamepad. Let's first look at the top sections. There are equipment, uh, inventory and options. I can click the tab button to switch between different sections or I can use my keyboard tap the Q or E key to switch to different panel or I can using my gamepad so if I click a button in my gamepad it will automatically change to the gamepad uh, buttons so I can click the to top right shoulder button to switch between the sections and also by click the left button to switch between the sections. Okay, let's first look at uh, the inventory panel. On the buttons, there are categories. So I can use my gamepad to switch between the category and using up down buttons to toggle between different items. When it's focused, it will show the details on right hand side and uh, will also show the usage, how many left uh, and uh, how many in the storage. And uh, back to the equipment, on the top are the tools items. So we got three slots, user can equip items in different slots. By select items, it will put the item in the slot. And we can use the X button to remove the item from the slot. Next one is the quick item slots. We got five quick items and uh, I can choose the items in different slots here is the same logic and um, the selection panel is the same panel as my inventory panel it's just hide the category section on top and only show the relevant items when you select so this is pretty much how my UI game UI works in the following weeks I will make some videos about how this works and I think the videos will divide into three different sections. The first one I will talk you about uh, the materials, how I make the material works. And the second part is the user widget. So how to using the user widget and especially the common UI. I using the common UI plugins to make all this UI works to support the keyboard and the mouse and the gamepad. And uh, the last part is about uh, C++ code in general, I think. So you, you cannot only depend on the blueprints because a lot of functions is too limited. And uh, it's, you are more freely to working on the C++ code. Um, it also is much more easier to manage the data. And it's kind, you can write more efficient code there. For now, uh, in this video, I will just have a quick look of how I make these um, icon materials. Uh, it's quite a lot here, but if I divide it into different sections, it will much easier to understand here. Um, like uh, for even for almost every materials, I make noise, and this uh, of the noise function I made, so it can generate a noise much easier here. I'm back to my button. Okay, so with this noise, uh, it's exposed different uh, float uh, parameters, so it can get the look I need. So this is a noise look. Uh, I use this noise in different parts. If I go to, okay, so for here is the uh, state control. I using low three different float number to control different state of my icon so if I change to one it will have the right on top of my uh, my background so it's meaning this item is selected uh, and when I change this whole state if I change to one it will have animate background and enlarge the texture and uh, 
this is another one that uh, it can remove the icon texture totally. So for example, some slot, they don't have any items on this slot. So I will change it to zero. And uh, here is another section. This is more about the overlay. So if I do here, so this is the overlay I made. It's uh, combined with the, in the the noise and also with these sectors from Material Lab. Uh, if I remove this one, it will pretty much like this to generate from this uh, function, sectors functions. And, uh, and then I combine this with my noise, it will have more interesting shapes here. And uh, this one, I believe, is the background here. So it's um, it's just the it's again. This is a noise and uh, put the noise into my circle. So the circle will looks like this one, and chunk my noise into my circle. It will become more interesting shapes here. And background box. This will define the the border of my icons and also the. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, and here is the background color. So yeah, and this background color will define the the transparency. I think I is is used in here to tell where is the solid color where it's get transparent. So if I remove this one from the opacity node, so if you have a solid color here. Um, this one is the icon uh, texture. So it's user need to feed in the texture here and from texture we get the alpha and get the color so we can combine using this alpha info to layer my texture on top of my background uh, this part is the color so i using these three it's kind of three different color and using these uh, gradients to transfer smoothly transfer my color it's like a fold like here and uh, this is the final result here um, I combine the so this is really just combine the background combine the overlay and the combine the texture using some logic here to get my final color so this one this is my final color and uh, yeah, let's get the final result here. So I will get more details how I made that uh, in next couple of videos. After material tutorials, I will go to the user widget. So how I make the user widget. Lots of user widgets are reused and uh, I using the template. So like this one is the best example I can think about. So this is the uh, icon the icon but this is only the base class I can inherit uh, other widget from here so it get the same code I just, just need to write my blueprint and also C++ code once and uh, it's can be used by any different um, child class so here is the ba the item base I base class and this one is the child class of my uh, item base so this is inherit from item base so to make this work I use the name the slot so is from the base class is only have icon and around icon is have four different uh, slot uh, it's uh, like uh, this one is the left and side on the right and on the bottom and another one is on the top is just because they are all zero so it's invisible in this class and if I inherit my from here like this one I use the the right the, the right sections so I feel feed in more info like the text and the background here so this will uh, get more info and um, again I create Another one is item detail. So this is also uh, inherited from my parent uh, item base class, and uh, this is using mouse slot here. So it's using the header on top, and uh, using the left slot in here, but uh, it's not using the right hand side because there's nothing uh, on the right of the icon, and also it's using the bottom slot here to display some text here. 
So this way, I can make uh, my code very, very efficient, and can only need to write code once. Um, I think another good examples for reuse the user widget is um, the API. like this one. <coughs> this is the um, I created this one button type, so basically this one is a very simple one here. It's only show the background materials and also some text here. So by change this by change the background is kind of using in other other place. So if I go to EP inventory list. Okay, yeah. So inventory list, these three tab items, they are same class, exactly same thing. So it's uh, the same button type I created here, but it only have a slightly different look by applying a different materials here. So basically, they are the same class and uh, it's the same bl blueprint uh, functions, but it's uh, with different materials. It's um, get a lot different look. Like this one. The last thing I will talk about maybe is for the C++ code. So in my project, I think I almost uh, always wrap my user widget to some uh, C++ code. So with my C++ code, uh, I can get more control of how the items work. Uh, and also, I created some um, some helper class. So, like this one is very useful. I think it's find find parents widgets implement interface. So, what it did is um, when user click a button, it will looking for the tree above self and find the first user uh, widget to implement certain interface. Based on the interface is. The, in, and it will let the parent to understand how it will work when um, something is clicked. So it's lots of functions there um, I make around the way through my working my project. So I would like to share uh, some of them with you guys and to explain how this work. So I think that's all for today. And, um, yeah. I can get enough time to make some more videos. Uh, hope I can see you guys in next week. Bye.